Yo, what's going on you guys? My name is Owen and welcome back to another video. For this week's video, we're gonna be doing something super, super cool, and that is ranking the top five Sanjeev outfits. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who that is. He is a YouTuber, he is a creative consultant, he has a huge Instagram following. I think he has over 50,000 Instagram followers, which is crazy. I kinda want to turn this into a little bit of a series where you guys get to choose who I pick the top five outfits for next. So before this video begins, comment down below who you guys wanna see me rank next. Now, I believe I first found Sanjeev's channel in in summer of 2016, so like after I graduated high school, going into college, that's around when I really started to get into fashion and clothing in general, and I wanted to like check out some YouTube channels, see if I find anybody that I liked, and I found Sanjeev, and I've been watching him ever since. I don't think I've like ever taken a break from like watching his videos, if you know what I mean. And in preparation for this video, I did go back and watch a lot of his older content from like a couple years ago. I looked at his Instagram posts from a couple years ago, and a lot has changed. Even though his style hasn't really like switched genres, if you know what I mean, it's still the same style but it's evolved a lot. He used to wear a lot slimmer silhouettes. He used to wear a lot of like biker leather jackets. He used to wear a lot of skinny jeans and now it's completely different. He wears lots of oversized baggy tops. He wears really, really wide trousers. He has like moved away from boots. Even though he does wear a lot of boots, he doesn't wear boots nearly as much. Obviously over the years, trends have changed. I remember back in 2016, it was very, very trendy to wear skinny jeans all the time. So it's cool to see that his style hasn't really like taken a massive change. It's just evolved a lot. And in my personal opinion, even though I don't really dress like him, I think his style is super, super sick. If you guys are really into formal or elegant style, with like an edge of streetwear, I definitely go recommend checking out his channel if you haven't already. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is since he's a really, really big channel in the fashion community, but definitely go check him out. Follow him on Instagram as well. That's where I'm getting all these outfits from. I am ranking his top five Instagram outfits. I know he puts a lot of stuff together on YouTube as well, but this is a lot easier just to look at his Instagram. Also, real quick, I picked these outfits based on my personal taste and what I thought was a really, really good outfit. I'm sure a lot of you guys have your own opinions and you guys think other outfits look really, really cool, or you guys might think the outfits I picked don't look as good. So just remember that style and personal taste changes from person to person, so not everybody's gonna have the same opinion. These are just my personal top five favorites. So without further ado, let's hop right into the number five spot. So coming in at the number five spot, this outfit was posted back in mid-June. In this outfit, he's wearing a bare knuckles red striped denim jacket. Under that, he's wearing a bare knuckles vintage wash t-shirt. For the bottoms, I believe he's wearing a pair of acne trousers. He wears those a lot, so I'm pretty sure they're acne. And then for the footwear, he's wearing a pair of Prada sandals that kind of look like Visvum Christos a little bit. I think this outfit is super sick because of how everything fits on him. I think the jacket is like the perfect fit on him. Obviously with a boxier crop denim jacket, you kind of want to be a little bit on the shorter side just so it doesn't look too disproportional to your body type. I think overall this outfit kind of encompasses Sanjeev's more like toned down style where it's not as like bougie and fancy. It's more on the simple side, very everyday casual type clothing. I think the rings and the necklaces work perfect to the jacket just because it has that same like silver hits on it. And obviously he wears the jewelry in every single outfit. So it wouldn't really be a Sanjeev outfit without having the silver jewelry. I do remember seeing this outfit reposted a lot. So I think a lot of other people really enjoyed this outfit. So yeah, let's hop right into the number four spot. For the number four spot, we have a very iconic Sanjeev fit in my opinion. I feel like I've seen this outfit everywhere when he posted it. He's wearing a Prada button up shirt, probably a Uniqlo white tee. I know he loves those Uniqlo tees. For the trousers, he's wearing a pair of the Needles Aug pants, like the track pants that are really, really sick. And then for the shoes, I believe those are like Gucci loafers, maybe it's some other brand. And then I believe that is a Lock & Co hat. I know he loves his Lock & Co hat. But like I said before, I just think it's a very iconic Sanjeev outfit. I think this one outfit just kind of like perfectly describes Sanjeev. And I think the colors work really, really well. That button up shirt is obviously super sick. I love Prada button up shirts. I think the fit is perfect on you. It's not too long. Obviously, they're very, very cropped and boxy, so I think it's just like the perfect fit on you overall. The pants are really, really sick. Those are probably my favorite colorway out of the whole set. I know there's a green one. I can't remember. I think there's a black and yellow one too, maybe a couple other colors, but obviously the pink is probably the best one in my opinion. And then for the shoes, I'm not really a big loafers kind of guy, but I do think it works with this outfit perfectly. I think the loafers paired up with the hat, paired up with the button-up shirt is just like a great combination. It's very like summery and kind of loungy. And I think that even though you wouldn't normally pair up track pants with loafers, I think it worked perfectly with this outfit. I don't know how this only got 6,000 likes. It probably deserves like 15K. Um, just because it's such a sick outfit. But anyways, let's move on to the number three spot. Now, this is kind of hard to pick just because I couldn't really decide which was number three and which was going to be number two. But this outfit I picked as number three. He's wearing a Hyder or Hater Ackerman, Ackerman. I don't really know how to pronounce that name, honestly. Um, brown hoodie. I do remember when he got the hoodie in like a pickups video, I think. He's wearing probably another Uniqlo basic white t-shirt. He's got a pair of Craig Green pants, which are like 
insane pants. I tried them on, they're really, really sick. Um, for the boots, he's wearing a pair of Dries boots, and then he has a Prada, like, phone case uh, lanyard type thing. I'm not really sure what to call it, but I'm pretty sure you've, like, put your phone and maybe your wallet in there. Um, it just kind of like hangs around your neck. And then if I had to guess, he's probably wearing a Noah beanie or some other basic type beanie. I remember when he posted this outfit, I was going crazy just because I love those pants. I got to try them on in store too, and I think they're super sick. Not the right pants for me just because I'm really, really tall. And those are very, very cropped pants, so they kind of sit on sand perfectly, but didn't fit me right. But I love all clothing that has like stuff that dangles down. I don't know why I like that so much. I think the colors of this outfit were perfect. Like he nailed them. He's got the matching like brownish olive tones in the beanie and the hoodie and in the pants, like in the certain paneling of the pants. And then he paired up the blue in the pants with the blue in the Prada phone case thing, which is like crazy. Even though it's like a really, really weird silhouette, I think it just works amazing. I definitely need to get that Prada phone case thing. I just, I, I don't know why, but I really, really love accessories like that. And I know even though those pants are super wild and you can't wear them often, I know he dropped major coin on them. So you have to like boost that score a little bit just because you can't wear those every single day. The hoodie, even though it's very like basic, I think it's like the perfect fit on him. It's very, very boxy. Has that nice like raglan sleeve. I think it looks like a raglan sleeve, which I love in hoodies and t-shirts. If I had to change one thing, it'd probably be the boots just because I don't really like that style of boot and I think you could have picked something else, but Really, really sick outfit overall. Moving to the number two spot, we have an outfit that he posted at the beginning of June this year. He's wearing a vintage MLKT, a custom Sandiv shirt, which I remember he posted a whole video about. It was a really, really sick video. It's a really, really cool shirt in general too. Um, a pair of Issy Miyake Ohm Police trousers. I'm not really sure I pronounced that. And then he's wearing a Palmer pouch, which I have as well. I think this outfit is super sick just because he was able to customize the shirt and like make a piece that's very unique to him and that Nobody else has except he did sell a few of them online. And then the pants, even though they aren't my favorite pants, I think they work perfectly with this outfit. I'm a really big sucker for vintage t-shirts. I think that one just works great with that button up shirt. The graphic isn't really stealing the show. It's just adding to the outfit in my opinion. The pants, even though I wouldn't wear those pants, I think they work with this outfit perfectly. They have a really, really cool like texture that runs vertically down the pants. It looks kind of like corduroy a little bit. I've had to mention this, but for the shoes, he's wearing a pair of off-white Prestos. Even though they are a very height beastie type sneaker, I don't I don't think he makes it look hype BC at all. I think he pulled them off perfectly. It's the way they should be pulled off in my opinion. And the Palmer pouch obviously just kind of like elevates the outfit a little bit more. If you didn't have the Palmer pouch, it'd still be a sick outfit, but I just think it kind of adds a really, really unique element to the outfit. It's something different than the usual like chest rig vest type thing that you see everywhere. I know he has like a usual combo that he pairs up a button up shirt with a Palmer pouch. I've seen it in so many of his outfits, but I think he pulled this one off perfectly. This is probably the best one of all of them too. Last but not least, let's move on to the number one outfit in my opinion for Sanjeev. Here's the outfit right here. It was posted back in April of this year. He posted it in a grocery store and I think this outfit is so cool. He's wearing a Noah beanie, a Craig Green jacket that he flipped inside out, pair of Junior trousers, and then some off-white Jordan 1s in the NRG or the white colorway. I honestly don't know how you can't like this outfit. That jacket is so, so sick. Just like the other Craig Green pants, I love having stuff dangle from outfits. I just think it's such a cool silhouette. And then the fact that he flipped it inside out just kind of like makes it a really, really unique piece. Like even though other people might have that jacket, they won't flip it inside out unless it is a reversible jacket. I don't really know. I love that navy color, the hints of white. Such a sick piece. I definitely need to get that jacket. I'm not a big fan of like the stitching on the sleeves and all that, but it's still a really cool jacket overall. And then the junior trousers obviously I think are a really, really cool choice. They pair up with the jacket perfectly. They have that same like matching brown pattern with like the hints of white. I think they are navy. It's kind of a dark photo, but I'm pretty sure they're navy. And then to complement the beanie with the hints of white in the jacket, he paired it up with the off-white Jordan 1s and the NRG colorway. I think this outfit overall is just godlike. Like you can't get better than this outfit in my opinion. And you know he dropped massive coin to get these pieces. I don't think he got any of this stuff on sale. Maybe, maybe the pants, but you can't get off-white Jordan 1s on sale. You can't get that jacket on sale unless, maybe he got that jacket on sale, but this outfit is well over like 2,000 pounds probably. So, so sick. I would 100% wear this outfit any day of the week as long as it's kind of chilly out. Congratulations, Sand, you get an A plus for this outfit, my man. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Comment down below who you guys want me to rank next. It could be a YouTuber or an Instagram influencer or some sort of celebrity. So just let me know down in the comments. I'll probably pick like the top voted one or whoever you guys want me to do. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I post videos every single week regarding fashion. And that's it, you guys. Peace out. See you next time. Have a good week.